Welcome to Java Farm. Now I am going to show you how to import and use Oracle Database 23C free developer release VirtualBox appliance in VirtualBox 7. So this is VirtualBox 7.0, so latest version of VirtualBox as of now. And here you can see that I already downloaded Oracle Database 23C free developer appliance from Oracle website. So I have provided the download link in the description of this video. So it's around uh, 6 to 7 GB of size. Okay, now I open the virtual box. Go to file, uh, import appliance. Okay, import appliance. So now I am going to import this uh, Oracle Database 23 CA. appliance file click open click next button so you can see the appliance settings so these are the settings for the virtual machine let me expand it okay so these are the detail complete detail so two cpu cores ram 4 gb ram okay so dvd also included Oracle Linux uh, 8.7 is uh, operating system. So two virtual disk image will be created. Okay. So I am going to import the appliance to this directory only. This is the directory which I have created. I am going to paste this directory part as a machine based folder. Okay. Finish. Click the finish button. So it will ask for the license agreement, click the agree. So now uh, you can see that uh, importing appliance progress bar. So now the pre-configured virtual mission is uh, importing. Yes, so uh, pre-configured uh, virtual machine Oracle DB developer VM is uh, created with 4 GB RAM and 2 CPU core. Let me go to the directory. So you can see that uh, two disk files are created. Okay, disk 1 and disk 2 are created along with virtual machine. Okay. Now, uh, see around 20 GB, around 20 GB size it has conceived. Okay, now let us start the Oracle DB developer VM. Okay, so this is the Oracle Linux uh, 8.7 uh, operating system. So it starts in the graphical mode. So there is one already one user created called Oracle. So it's a uh, login automatically. No need to give any password for the user. It will login automatically, and you can see that. Uh, so these are the display screens. So under desktop folder, you can see some icons are there. Shortcuts. Shortcuts are there. And you can see that uh, two terminals are opened uh, once uh, I have logged in. So it displays some information. That is, uh, it displays information about the pre-configured uh, database. Okay, let me adjust the screen size so that uh, we can start the configuration. So I am uh, according to uh, I am adjusting the screen resolution according to my monitor. Okay, now let us start. Okay, so in desktop directory, you can see some icons are created, right? So let me open the readme.txt. It will give you the full info. Okay, so what are the things uh, available in this machine is? So uh, free container database and free PDB1 uh, pluggable database are available. All passwords are Oracle, okay? And you can see HR schema is enabled. Okay, HR schema is preloaded. Okay, so no need to configure anything. So I am just clicking the icon. Click here to start the browser. 
so it will start the browser firefox browser which is uh, installed by default okay so i can able to see uh, two links uh, one is apex another is sql developer web let me open the apex in one tab and sql developer web in another tab so oracle uh, rest services enabled by default no need to do anything so all configurations are done uh, and we are uh, we can use this directly okay so now let me log into the oracle application express oracle apex so workspace name will be internal so this is the username and password so password will be oracle so i already told that uh, in readme text i mentioned that oracle is the password for everything okay so this is the login for uh, apex administration so this is the console login console uh, uh, console after login uh, oracle application express bundled with this virtual machine so you can configure uh, application express uh, if you are expert in application express so i am not going to do anything so i am just showing what are the things available in this virtual machine okay. next i am going to sql developer web so i am going to login as hr users i already told that hr schema is uh, loaded by default not only hr schema around uh, 7 to 8 schemas are uh, loaded uh, by default okay now let me click the sql yes you can see these are the tables of hr schema okay uh, now let me type one query select star from countries that's it yes i can able to uh, run the query it's uh, fetching the records from the table which means that our setup is uh, completed and correct okay our setup is correct so i can able to uh, log in sql developer web, web and uh, apex oracle application express okay so you can try out uh, many schemas so you can try out other schemas also now let me open sql cl okay so sql cl so i'm i'm going to tell you how to log in to the sql cl so this is how i log into sql cl sys slash password as is dba Yes, so I can able to uh, log into Oracle database 23 free via SQL CL, okay, SQL command line, okay. Let me execute one by. Yes, it's fine. So uh, SQL CL tool is working uh, fine. Now let me go to the. Uh, terminal and close all the terminals okay i'm going to close all the terminals so i have only only one terminal now what i'm going to do i am going to uh, connect to the database via sql plus okay so 
So this is the command to connect to the SQL plus. I can able to log in via SQL plus. So SQL plus is configured by default. Uh, no need to uh, add any settings. Let me try pluggable database version also. Yes. So I can I can able to uh, log in to the pluggable database free PDB one via SQL plus. So SQL plus is working fine. Uh, in this uh, pre-configured uh, virtual mission okay next step what I'm going to do I am going to home directory so in home directory you can see a lot of things are available lot of uh, files and configurations are there so don't delete uh, or don't touch anything until you know everything thoroughly okay so I can able to see Java also. I think Java also installed by default. Let me see the hidden files. Let me open the dot bash rc. So I open the dot bash rc file. So these are the environment variables. Okay, so these are the environment variables configured in this. Uh, pre-configured virtual mission so I can able to see uh, in path variable SQL CL and SQL developer also included but SQL developer is not installed by default anyway JDK 11 so JDK 11 is uh, available by default so now what I am going to do uh, I am going to uh, install SQL developer latest version so Java is available. So Java is available already. So no need to install Java. So SQL developer is not there. Okay. So I remind you once again. SQL developer is not there. Only SQL CL, SQL command line utility is there. SQL plus is there. Okay. I mean SQL plus is already configured. Okay, so now I am going to Oracle website. So I am downloading this zip file. Okay, SQL developer no jre dot zip file so zip file is downloaded i am going to extract the content to the home directory so i am directly extracting to the home directory because as i have shown you uh, in bash rc file already uh, some environment variables are configured for sql developer okay so i am extracting the content to the home directory directly so that uh, SQL developer also will be available in the path okay So these are the installation files of SQL developer. Let me open the terminal. So now I am going to execute SQL developer dot sh. Okay, now I am going to connect as SSS DBA and connect to the container database. Yes, I can able to connect to the container database from SQL developer. Yes, connection is successful. Now let me try to connect a pluggable database that is free PDB one. So we need to configure, I am clicking the cancel button. I am going to edit the properties once again. So username sysaccess DBA. So 
so service name free pdv on provide the password so password is oracle okay everything is fine so i can able to connect to the pluggable database also pre configured pre configured pluggable data so everything is fine so we are successful in importing the oracle database 23c developer appliance to the virtual box so everything is preloaded uh, along with the oracle rest uh, also enabled so this virtual machine is configured with the sql command line tool and also it loaded with the schemas like hr schemas and oracle application express that is oracle apex also is available by default so everything is fine sql plus also is opening fine 